Hey yo! Welcome to another tutorial. So today I will show you how to do an opacity transition like this one. But before we start make sure that you subscribe and like the video, or I am gonna be sad. And I will call the police, so be careful I am watching you. And now let's hit after effect. So like always get your clips ready and follow me. First of all you need to extend both clips like me. Then add motion tile to both clips. And don't forget to enable the motion blur. Let's start by creating a new adjustment layer. And parent the first clip to it. I'm going to start by a zoom out. Now create a new adjustment layer and put it above both clips. Parent the first adjustment and the second clip to it. Now go back about 10 frames from the mark beat and start animating the scale like me. Easy ease the keyframes and open the graph. Make sure it's a speed graph. Now try to match it with the beat mark like I do. Go to the last keyframe and adjust the scale of the second clip so it fits with the comp. Then create a new adjustment layer and parent the second adjustment to it. Go to the mark beat then move back one frame and do a zoom out transition like I do. Easy ease the keyframes and open the graph. Make sure it's a value graph. Now follow me. Last thing animate the opacity of the second clip. Easy ease the keyframes and open the speed graph and try to match it with the mark beat like we did earlier. As you can see we're done. We just need to add some effects to make it look better. Create a new adjustment layer. And add S vignette effect to it. Follow me.
set a keyframe for the radius and change the value to like 3 so the effect is out of the comp. Now go to the mark beat and decrease it to like 0.7. Go to the end of the transition and set it back to 3. Lastly add VCCON's blur effect to the second clip. Drag the effect above the motion tile. Now animate the blurry mount. Follow me. Easy ease the keyframes and open the speed graph and match it with the beat mark. Here I'm just adding a warp effect for the zoom out. There we go. We're finally done. You can still add shake to it to make it smoother. So I hope you like the tutorial. See you on the next video.